Welcome to New Mexico Living. All right, happening for your information, one of the most effective ways to make a big impact on someone is to engage in small talk. By engaging in pedestrian, intimate conversation, you can get a better sense of who they really are and conversely give insight into who you really are. Joining us now is Marion Parker, author of The Sharpest Soft Skill. Us, uh, so Marion, thanks for being with us this morning. So why is small talk so important and so effective? How small is small talk? Apparently, small talk has a very si significant results because when you meet somebody, you have to present yourself in the best way possible. You want to send a nice, a warm vibe for you to be able to communicate and connect on a deeper level. Mm -hmm. I have five uh, strategies and five topics which okay. we always can utilize. Okay. And the first one is let's talk about books. Mm -hmm. a, lot of a lot of people read books. It, it is another story if we have the time, but we always can communicate on a uh, level uh, what we read last. Mm -hmm. For example, we can talk about marketing, we can talk about sales, we can talk about business etiquette, whatever you decide, whatever you find in common. If this topic doesn't really work out for you, you can go to the next one and we can talk about travel, travel, travel adventures, okay. because we work in a global economy. And this is very crucial because a lot of people travel all the time. How you present yourself is very important as well, because if you talk about the price of your room mm -hmm. or the, something to brag about, we might not be interested. So talk about in a modest way about okay. traveling. So um, the third topic can be food, uh -huh. and this is a very <laughs> who doesn't love to talk about food? <laughs> who doesn't right? like to talk about food? So this is a very common topic, but at the same time, it's not that innocent because you can get a lot of information about the person in front of you. For example, if he's a vegetarian mm -hmm. or a vegan, you already know which platform to right. take, right. and you might be actually part of a particular charity that he's as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe something to support animals, and that's a very good common ground for you. Uh, the fourth topic we can talk about is the particular city or neighborhood. For example, I love Albuquerque, mm -hmm. but I don't know much about it. So mm -hmm. if I ask you for your suggestions, this creates a bond already because yeah. I trust you for you to advise me. You can show me certain restaurants or you can show me certain museums mm -hmm. and we can collaborate on a future, um, in the future about different projects. Mm -hmm. And the fifth one, which is also very common, but also very good, uh, you can analyze the person in front of you, mm -hmm. is about sports. So ah, if you talk about yeah. sports, you can, it is a very common topic, but if you figure out that the person likes individual, individual sports, mm -hmm. like swimming or tennis, perhaps he won't be very good about collaborating. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's more introvert. But if the person likes baseball, football, or something in uh, this so regard. It's like a team sport. Okay. Exactly. So you already know how to uh, build your team. Or wow. it's just very, um, it's a form of business intelligence. Wow. Because business etiquette is a form yeah. of business intelligence. Right. And if you follow those five etiquette strategies for small talk, I promise you, you won't have any problem com co connecting with anybody in the future. That's great. So great. Just very quickly before uh -huh. we lose time, where can we get a copy of your book that goes into You can go detail? to mannerofmanners.com or on Amazon. It's called The Sharpest Soft Skill. The Sharpest Soft, soft skill. skill. Fantastic. Thanks. Always a pleasure to see you. Thank Again, you. guys, if you want more information on tackling the art of small talk, just head over to foxnewmexico.com.